Well, the Democratic Alliance in KwaZulu-Natal has announced the incoming deputy mayor in Umgeni municipality, 26-year-old Sandile Nikati, will work hand-in-hand -hand with the mayor-elect, Christopher Pappas. The party says its mission is to rebuild the municipality and make it one of the best run in the country. NCA's Liti Wimbluli reports. The Democratic Alliance has announced Sandy Lemnikati as its new deputy mayor-elect in the Umgeni municipality. The announcement was made following the party's victory last week in the local government elections where the DA managed to dethrone the ANC, snatching the municipality away with 47% of the votes. This, of course, is history for the party as this will be the first ever municipality they will govern in the province of KwaZulu-Natal. During the announcement of the new deputy mayor-elect, this is what the party had to say about their choice. The two gentlemen that you see on either side of me are not here because of their political aff affiliation. They're not here because of cadre deployment. They're here because they can get the job done. They're here because they've proven themselves, and we have full faith in the team. So it gives me great pleasure, Sandile, to welcome you and look forward to working with you. The new deputy mayor-elect, who is 26 years of age, says that they have big plans for the municipality. But I think the first thing that is on our priority list, top of our priority list, is to ensure that Umgeni once, once again becomes a financially um, sustainable municipality um, so, that we can, so that we are able to deliver services to every corner of Umgeni municipality. Um, we look forward to becoming a transparent and open government. Um, and really, I think Chris has said most of it, but we just want to get stuck in now um, and get the ball rolling. Mayor-elect Chris Pappas also spoke about the reports that the party is planning to clean house at the municipality and the SIU investigation against suspended municipal manager Tembira Tsebane. We need to approach this in a fair manner in terms of looking at Auditor General's report, independent investigator reports to see where money has gone missing, where laws have been broken and who needs to be held accountable. Like Francois said, we're not going on a witch hunt and we're not firing everyone, but we have to start to instill an ethos of governance where uh, consequence management and accountability becomes, becomes key. When asked about the municipality's previous deputy mayor, Nompumele Lobtelezi, who left the ANC and joined the DA shortly before the elections, Papas says for now, Butelezi doesn't hold any position. Nompumelelo came over at her free will. Um, I was as surprised as many people were when she, she called me and said, can we meet? And she, is, she didn't ask for anything. Um, she didn't ask for a position. She didn't make hints at any of those. Uh, she actually sent me a, a message the other day to ask when she actually gets her, her card. You know, she signed up, but she, want, she, she wants her physical card. But she hasn't asked for anything, and we're not planning on, on giving her a position. The party has also promised to use their five years in office, delivering better service delivery, ending corruption, and reviving the tourism and business sectors. Let's see Durban.